I guess could you just speak to the importance of I guess going two and zero this week? Picked up a couple big road wins, um, and then just and then Justin Smith's game too. Uh, I think he had had nineteen, and I think Coach said that it was probably one of his better games of the season. Yeah, two very two two very big wins on the road, starting with Kentucky. Uh, I mean, a big game. You know, everybody grew up watching Kentucky and everything, and that was just that was just a experience to be able to go to their floor at Rupp Arena and get the win. And then this one was, I'd say, even bigger this season for sure it's with them being number 10 in the country. And then uh, us retaliating from last time we played without uh, without Justin. And then he just came back with vengeance this time. I mean, he had he had a different look in his eye. He was just determined to, to, to get us this quad one win. And that's what we did. Hutch. Moses, uh, coach was saying how, you know, sometimes with the team that lets a game slip at the end of regulation, there's a letdown and, you know, flips the other way in overtime. How, how did y'all avoid that letdown in overtime? I mean, basketball is a game of runs. They had, they had a run at the end of regulation, hit two, of, two great shots. I mean, they out hustled us and we just, um, we took that. We took that. I mean, we could, we could have, we could have looked at that and just been like, oh man, they hype and we down, but now nah, we took that as they punked us right there. So now we got to retaliate, and that's what we did in overtime. Curtis. Hey, Moses, I wanted to ask you about Connor. You know, obviously started the game, but then didn't play much the rest of the first half, and then Musk went back to him in the second half, and he, he really stepped up for you guys. Oh, yeah. Connor's going to do what he's going to do. There was, um, it, I mean, in the game, the way that the, the, way that the game was going, it, uh, it, was, it was hard for him to, to stay early. But when, when he came back in the second half, I mean, I don't, I don't even got to say much. Y'all saw what he did. Because he's going down there, um, getting the ball against a lot of smaller defenders, getting getting easy buckets. I, I still don't like that uh, that lob that lob I threw him that caught the charge. I I ain't really like that one, but <laughs> but yeah, kind of played great. He did what he does. Bob, yeah, Moses, could you describe that defensive play you made after they waved off the play from Braun? I, th I think it was you. Could, could you describe that play and just how obviously that was a. I'm sorry, you was breaking up. Can you repeat the question? Okay. Um, you, you knocked the ball away from Braun there after they waved off the uh, the, the, the goal tennis. You guys were still up by one. And I think it was you that knocked the ball away from Braun. Um, could, could you describe that play, kind of what happened in that sequence? Oh, yeah. Well, I, it's, it was a. Uh... A con it was kind of kind of controversial how he got there in the first place. I maybe should have been in help, but I did have Mark Smith, which was the best shooter on the team, so I had to get over the top if they did run the stagger screen away. But uh, I mean, I got there kind of late, but JT recovered, got the block, and when I saw he did his job and got the block, I just knew we I, it, we had to secure the had to secure the rebound because that's how they got us to overtime in the first place. So um, just not just not letting letting down after we see the first shot not go in because sometimes. When the ball, when the ball, when they miss the ball, you you just like take a deep breath. In that quick second, if the other team is reacting faster than you are, that's how they make a play on the ball. So we just have to stay alert. And then I guess this was the first top ten road win for Arkansas since two thousand six, when they they beat Tennessee. How, how does that feel to get such a such a big win and do it on the road? And and yeah. also the Avengers loss. You know they, these guys gave you your only home loss too. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, it feels great. Every win feels great because none of them will come easy. We put a lot into each game. Um, we're going to start over tomorrow uh, preparing for the next game. So, I mean, after every win, you just have to take a second and really uh, just soak in what you just did. And, I mean, we did beat a top-10 team in their home, so that's a big accomplishment. Coach Musselman said you guys run a free throw drill in practice that, that everybody hates but I guess it came in handy today. What, 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 what is it that happens on that drill? What do you guys have to do? All right, so we have about six goals in the practice facility. So uh, you, might, you might be two to a goal and um, everybody goes around and you have to hit one. And then the next person has to hit the second one then the third one go all the way up to about eight and then seven and then six. So, I mean, it's a lot of pressure on each and every shot. So we just putting ourselves in that late game situation, which, uh, which really obviously comes, comes back to help. Like like uh, JT did last game, like I did late this game, like Justin did late this game. So it's just uh, we've been there before, you know. So if you miss in practice, do you have to start over again, or what? Well, if you miss two, in, work? if you miss two in a row, then everybody got to do push-ups. And if and we got about what is it, two minutes and thirty seconds to get all the way down to zero, 
And um, if you if we if we don't make it, then we will probably have to do it down down the back or, or line drill, and then um, get back to it. And we, so and if, guys, we not, if we're not making it, we'll be there all night. I promise. You. Yeah. Are Are you glad he makes y'all do that drill because you know it helps you come through and pressure games? Yeah, I am. I am. I mean, it puts us in that situation. So when when we're in an in game situation that's like the one that happened today, I mean, I feel like I've been there before, every day, almost. <laughs>